Hi, this is Rick Caesar here. Uh, today I'm demonstrating uh, bicanalicular DCR intubation using the FCI nunchaku. Uh, this is an elegant uh, silicon intubation kit, uh, which I think would be very nice to use regularly in DCR, uh, as it's going to be incredibly easy to remove the issue with DCR isn't intubation, which is normally very easy. It's that when you come to remove your silicon tubing, this can require uh, nasal endoscopy and isn't always as easy as you'd like it to be. So with this kit, insertion is the same as normal. You would have a DCR you prepared earlier. And here you can see my DCR is ready to go. I've uh, prepared the nasal space and I'm ready for my silicon intubation. So each of the puncti are dilated and you need to dilate enough to pass uh, an O probe. Uh, this is then adequate for the nunchaku. So we're just confirming that this will pass fully and easily into uh, and in between the uh, nasal lacrimal flaps. And that works nicely. The nunchaku needs to be prepared and the preparation is as simple as this. You have to make sure that the probe is mobile in the silicon. So you take hold of the probe, you hold the silicon and you simply spin, spin the probe to make sure that it's not sticking to the silicon. Inserting it is very straightforward indeed uh, once the punctum is dilated. So just like you would with any silicon, you pop in through the punctum vertically hold the lid nicely on stretch and then pass along along the canaliculus into the nasal space where the tip should appear nicely in between your pre-prepared lacrimal sac flaps. You can see it just there, although there's a slight shadow. I apologize for that. And I'm just holding the tip with the Morfields, pulling out the probe and there's the silicon passed. Couldn't be easier really. Um, to do the same through the upper punctum again make sure you go into the punctum vertically uh, put the lid under good tension go around the corner pass along the canaliculus and then you're back in the nose now you could with the nunchaku simply carry on passing this down into your nasal space and then with a little twist it would release but uh, for this video i'm just demonstrating that you can do it in a very straightforward, perhaps more traditional way by holding it, removing the probe, uh, and then reaching up the nose to pass it into uh, the jaws of an artery forcep. And the nunchaku has this little black dot which shows it, it's perfectly centered. You can see the little black dot there sitting between the puncti. So the, and you can also tell it's perfectly centered because the other two silicon ends are equal length. So to pass the silicon into the nose, uh, this is uh, obviously a very simple technique. The uh, artery forcep goes up into the space you've made with your DCR, gets hold of the silicon and pulls it down. So ha happy day, you've done your DCR, you've put your silicon intubation in. You're going to leave that silicon intubation there for uh, between two and six weeks by preference. Uh, some people take it out some sooner, some people leave it in a bit longer. But here's where it all gets fun. When the patient comes back to you in clinic, uh, in order to remove this silicon, all you're going to have to do is pull it directly back out by hooking the loop from between the puncti and with a little bit of pressure, it will slide back out. And it should be as simple as that. Uh, I'll keep you informed as to how easy it is in clinic and how well this stays in position, but so far so good. So while I reinsert the, uh, uh, the nunchaku, let me explain. The whole point of the nunchaku is that it doesn't need to be tied inside the nose. So what, what is it within its design that enables this to be achieved? Well, basically there are two different diameter pieces of silicon. 
the piece that stays inside is a thicker diameter than the piece which resides in the canaliculi. So as it's inserted, it folds over onto itself, allowing the probe to be withdrawn. And the thicker, the thicker diameter silicon then sits and remains in the nose with the thinner diameter silicon, which you can see here going across the two, sitting in the canaliculi. And it is the junction of the thinner silicon to the thicker silicon which provides the resistance on uh, removing the tube. And so long as that resistance is adequate, then the tube will remain in situ without the need for any tie, but still, pleasingly, be easily able to be removed with a firm pull.